fact number one, in heaven, there's no sea. Revelation 21 verse 1 says this, Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. I wonder now, does that make your heart sink? I mean, let's be honest, everyone loves an ocean view. As the old song goes, oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. So why does it say there'll be no sea in heaven? Well, it's very interesting. When you go through the scriptures, you can notice there's a similar comparison. The sea and judgment go side by side. Do you remember in the days of Noah? Because the people were so wicked, God judged the world by sending a huge flood. And now because of it, most of our earth is covered by the sea. And then do you remember Moses? Do you remember how Moses led the people out of Egypt? And then the Egyptians started to chase after the Israelites. And Moses parted the Red Sea. And the Israelites, they passed through safely. But as the Egyptians came, suddenly the sea came over and washed them all away, God's judgment. And then do you remember Jonah? Jonah Jonah's told, go and preach repentance to the people of Nineveh. But Jonah had his own ideas. He ran and he got on a boat and went to Tarshish. And then the Lord sent a vast storm to get his attention. And what happened? Eventually Jonah was thrown into the sea and a great big fish came and swallowed him up. You see that? All the way through the Bible, sea and judgment go side by side. But this is when it gets very, very interesting. Do you remember when the disciples left Jesus and went in a boat one night? And there was a dreadful storm on the sea. And the disciples were afraid. They were scared. And they looked out at the ocean. And there was what they saw was a ghost walking towards them. But it wasn't a ghost. It was the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, why is that significant? Because if the sea represents judgment, here's the Lord Jesus Christ above judgment. He's above being judged. Why? Because he is the only one to walk planet Earth who is totally righteous. So when it says in Revelation there'll be no sea, what it means is in heaven there'll be no judgment. Because if you've put your trust in the one who is righteous, the Lord God makes us like him. He makes us perfect. And when we get to heaven, there'll be no sin in us, there'll be no desire to sin, and there will be no need to be judged. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus.